everybody in today's video i'm going to show you how to bypass your iphone or ipad ios 12.4 up to ios 13.7 untethered unlimited restart and reboots and in my previous video i've already showed you how to bypass it untethered using the ibypasser tool by ranzi 7 but some of you may have encountered problems with their app store unable to log into their icloud or download apps so today I'm gonna to demonstrate to you how you're gonna do that so let's go ahead and start first thing we're gonna to need to jailbreak with check rain so open check rain you may use Mac version directly or you may also use boot rain and rain USB if you'd like to check that out check out my previous videos and how you can do that so let's continue open check rain and here you can see that my iPhone 10 is already connected under 13.6.1 so we're gonna tick this box, allow untested versions. Then let's now go ahead and enter recovery. It's entering recovery mode, guys. All right, there you go. It's now in recovery mode. So now we're gonna put this on DFU by hitting the power button and the volume down. Starting now, four, three, two, one releasing the power button and still holding the volume down there you go it says entered successfully dfu mode and now let's wait for it to do its thing and perform the magic of jailbreak it's booting up and injecting some exploits and we should be good in a few seconds there you go we booted up on the hello screen or activation screen so as you can see guys this phone is still under an iCloud ID activation setup so we're gonna now proceed to our Windows PC to continue the bypass let me pause the screen and shut this down there you go guys it's still under activation all right now we are on our Windows PC and as you can see here I still have my iPhone 10 under the activation setup so we're gonna now go ahead and bypass this. We have already jailbroken the check range. So now let's let me show you the tool that we'll, we will use for that. So this is the iBypasser version 1.7. This is exactly the same with some modifications and some improvements, including the App Store fix. So if you had bypass earlier, you need to do a fresh restore via 3U tools and then bypass it again with this iBypasser tool and this time using the 1.7 version. So let's go ahead and open it. Okay, so just like before, you're gonna be taken into Ramsey07's Twitter page. Just follow him on Twitter and get credits for his work. So now we have the new tool version 1.7. We can minimize the window and then we can use this to activate our device. If you get this message, trust, just click on trust like that, okay. And now we're gonna go and use this third option here, which is untethered bypass 12.4.7 until iOS 13. Let me do that now. So it's important that we allow the whole process to finish before you do any, some, any kind of interruption on your screen. Five percent. Eighty-three percent. At this point, 
you will see that message, but don't interrupt until you completely go into 100% from your Windows screen. bypass so we should be good at this point now we can click ok and remove our device unplug it okay and we should see here that we have now successfully bypassed and let me turn this off Turn it off. Now we're going to turn it back on. There you go, guys. It booted right straight into the home screen without any um, activation screen setup. Please note that when you are doing this first time, you should not put any passcode locked or face app locked so that you will keep the untethered state of the device. If you are also using a SIM, do not put a SIM pin on it so that you can maintain the untethered state of the device. Another thing you will show you is the iCloud or the App Store. So I'm gonna show you that I've already logged in here. So I'm going to show you that I can actually download an, uh, an app here. Take note also that if you are previously bypassed with the iRogers, with iRogers bypass activation program, you have to do a fresh restore or a clean restore for it to work. Again, if you're using the iRogers bypass setup previously and you want to do an untethered, you're going to have to do a fresh restore. Otherwise, this program will not actually work. So now it's downloading guys, you can see that button there, that it's actually downloading, that's that's the download sign, then let us see the home screen, and check, there you go, it's actually downloading the application, and there, it's downloading the application, and we should finish in a couple of minutes. There you go guys, it successfully downloaded the application, and you can see Candy Crush is opening. There you go. So that's it guys. I hope this video has helped and good luck on your bypass. Comment down below for any questions or issues that you might encounter with this bypass. I'd be glad to help you out on them. Cheers. <laughs>